What's going on YouTube? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. I got a fun one today. Winter's come, it's getting real cold out. I gotta get this next food forest going. I gotta get everything finished off. I need to put this new gate in. Some of you guys were asking how I'm gonna do that. Wanted to bring you along for it. Let's go. It's really getting cold out now that winter's here and I'm happy I got this fence up. So now I need to cover the ground with contractor's paper, then wood chips over that. I wanna get the ground covered and insulated right now. This way I can keep everything, all those soil microorganisms alive. I don't want the ground to freeze or anything, so I'm gonna put this contractor's paper down, but it's just so windy out today. So before I put that down, I wanna make sure I get a nice wheelbarrow load full of wood chips. This way, as I'm rolling it, I can lay the wood chips on top, so I'm not fighting against the wind too much. A couple of videos ago, you guys saw when I got the new load of wood chips. You should see them now. We moved a lot. Where I am right now, this is where the wood chip pile was last time. This is how much we've moved in a short amount of time. Just one wheelbarrow at a time. Everything accumulates. And in time, this one reminds the other of a a life been much too Each wheelbarrow full you bring in, add in so much fertility to your property. These are the small investments that are gonna take your garden to the next level. This is exactly what you want. Put the investments in now. This is the good stuff, guys. This is the kind of wood chips you want. Fresh cut down trees, it's got the needles, the leaves, the sticks. You don't want just chunks of wood. You want all these different kinds of things. This will start feeding your soil immediately. Before I start putting this down though, I wanna lay the contractor's paper down. This is the contractor's paper I'm gonna use. You can pick this up at Lowe's, Home Depot, any of your big box stores for about 10 or $11. You might think that's expensive, but for me it's worth it. it saves a lot of time instead of using something like cardboard. And what we wanna do here is cover the grass remove any chance to get to the light and any oxygen to it. And the reason I waited to put this contractor's paper down here till I put the fence in was so I can slide it underneath. This way we're not getting any grass coming through on either side of the fence, because that's really annoying. If you guys ever put a fence in, it always happens. Because that edge, it's so rich. So the reason I got these wood chips over here was, as I roll it out, I'm gonna throw some of the wood chips on top of it. This way it'll help keep the wind down. And there's no point in me putting something like a brick on top of it, because then I'm just gonna have to take it back off. Might as well put on top what's gonna go there. Just gonna throw some on. So we'll make sure we got enough. If the wind blows strong, and then I'll roll out. Roll out until I get to a post. Then when I get to a post, I'll just put a little slice in it with a knife. This way I can slide it underneath. This one just happened to be slit right there. Convenient, but I'll cut it back a little more. Then I'll continue to roll it out and cover it with some wood chips. I'm not gonna cover it with a lot, a lot of wood chips. And then at the end, I'll just be able to kind of slide it in. So now for this part, to get to, get to it, I'm gonna go on the other side so I can just pull the fence or the paper right underneath. This is gonna be a part that's gonna save me any weeding in the future, because if there's gonna be weeds coming up, it's going to be at this fence line. All right, where we're not supposed to rip a little bit, but that'll be okay. I'll just bring it in, keep it around the post like that. So this really is gonna be the most tedious part about laying it down, the fence line. Not too many wood chips that it's hard to slide, but enough. I'm gonna do the same thing, notch around this post. So I'm just gonna continue my way down. May not be super exciting, but this is the little stuff in between that you guys don't get to see a lot of times. You see, you see the before and afters, but you don't see everything that goes in the middle. The work, the little tedious things, things that really make the difference. That's what we're focused on, doing it right the first time and creating a system that's low maintenance. That's the way it works for us. Every year in the future, we want the fertility to rise with less work. And it's, it'd be better to do this on a calmer day, but we picked about the windiest day you could pick. But that's not gonna stop us. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Excuses are just well-planned lies. Don't let them slow you down. Now I just gotta come through and make sure all the rest of this is tucked under. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let me just cover this paper all up, make sure the wind doesn't get to it at all. And that took a little extra work, but I'm not worried about it. And I, want, I don't wanna make sure I'm dumping too much on here because I wanna overlap a little bit. So I wanna keep this dump along the fence line if I can. 
We got some of the contractor's paper down underneath the fence, laid some of the wood chips so it doesn't blow away. Now that some of the sun is waning, I wanna get the gate in, so I'm gonna to start to do that. If you go online or even if you go to Lowe's or something, the chain link fence gates, they're like $60. Then you gotta buy the terminal post, that's another 18 to $20. You're looking at about $80 just for a gate. So I'm gonna build my own. This here, I didn't actually have to go buy it, I had it, but if you wanted to, had to go buy one, it's only about seven or $8. This is just a deck board, one inch deck board at eight feet. It's gonna be enough for me. I'll rip it right in half. That'll maybe make sure I save extra wood. It'll also make it light. Then I also just got a four by four post right here, which was about, uh, I forget, $12 or so at eight feet. These are the only two things I'm gonna need. Everything else I have. So I'll be able to do it for about $22, $25 instead of 80. That'll really save me a lot. And I'm not a professional or anything. I just say, I guess you could call it maybe a weekend warrior or something. So you guys can do this too. That's what I'm gonna show you. I'm not a professional carpenter. So some of the stuff I might be doing, don't take all my advice, but maybe just, you can pick up some ideas from what I am doing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna take this jacket off just so I can see everything better. I don't have anything overhanging my arms. I couldn't find my earmuffs, but I usually have them, but that's all right. So I'm gonna measure this piece of wood here. This way I can cut it in half, make it lighter and give me extra wood for the less price. Looks like about five and a half inches. So we'll cut it about two and three quarters. So let me set that to about two and three quarters. Now I'm gonna raise the blade height. I got a piece of scrap here. Show me the right height that I need to get at. As you see it crest over the top. If you guys don't know the table saw, it's one of the most dangerous actually tools. So you really wanna be careful with it. And if you've never used it before, uh, I don't suggest learning on it without someone teaching you. So let me get started. Now that I've got the wood all cut down, this will make the gate a lot lighter and also extend the wood, make it cheaper on us. So I'm gonna find out exactly where I wanna put it and the exact height, get it measured out and start putting it together. I know the fence is four feet, so I figure four feet by four feet should be good. Maybe it'll make it a little wider. So I think that's what we'll stick with and I'll have it line up with this other fence right here. I also want the gate to open this way. So when I'm coming from out inside, the gate opens like that, so I get to go right here instead of the gate opening this way. If it opened this way, I'd have to come all the way around it. So just little things like that can make it easier on you. I'm gonna take these over to the drop saw now and I'll cut them at four feet. The edge that I started my cut on is better than the edge that I finished it on, so I wanna make sure I keep the good side. Now I'm gonna cut from this other one. Even though that other side should be almost four feet, I don't know if I'm exact, so I wanna make sure the tops and the sides are exactly the same height. This way it'll make it nice and square. I won't have to fight against anything. Now that I've got these one cut exact to the same length, these ones are also gonna be exactly the same length. That's what's gonna be the perfect box at only one piece of wood. So everything will be square. I'll put it all together now. And you guys can see this side is rounded here and this one's all sharp. So I wanna take the router and round it. This way we're not cutting our hands or anything on it, getting splinters. You can see what the difference is. Now it just matches the other side and we're not gonna cut our hands and there's no sharp edges or anything. I got all these all rounded over, nice and smooth. So that's good. I'm gonna bring it over. Now I'm gonna put it together on the ground. I gotta have somewhere that's as flat as I can find it. I'm gonna lay these down. And I made these little plates here, just out of plywood. And I'm just gonna use these on the back side just to connect everything together like that. Real simple. This one here is exactly 48, four feet. So that's gonna be my height. The other ones are a little longer because when you get the wood, they, they just cut it a little longer usually. I could add height if I want, if I wanted to stack it on top, but I'm just gonna keep it off to the side here so I keep that four foot height. I had to put my jacket on because as the sun's going down, it's actually not getting warmer out, believe it or not. So real simple, I'm gonna put it together. Just as long as these are all square like this, all the edges are even, I know that it's gonna be square because it's all perfectly the same length. So the first thing I wanna do is pre-drill. If I don't, I'm gonna split this wood. And these inch and five eighths screws be good for me. First, I'm gonna just put two in just to give me a rough tack so I can adjust it, make sure all the rest of the sides are square. Now that I got that one in, I'm gonna move to the next. I'll bring the square for that one because I kind of rough that one in. I wanna make sure this one's all perfectly square. And you're not gonna see these really. These are gonna be on the back side. 
You'll see him from the garden side, but. Easy to put together, not too much work, and just super efficient. I'm looking for functionality. Aesthetics are some of it, but function comes force, first over form. If you don't pre-jill this, you'll split this right open. Important pre-drill. Now we're on the last one. If we did this right, it should be square. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's close. As you can see, we're pretty close there. So a tiny bit off, but I, I can live with that. Get this last one in, then we'll be moving. Now I can go back and add two more screws to each side. That just helped give me the basic frame. Show you guys what that looks like. And I'm already starting to see with this wobble, I'm gonna have to put a, a center post in. So I'll get one of those cut and put it in. And then as I put the wire fencing along it as well, it's gonna really strengthen it up. No matter how wrapped up you get in whatever you're doing, make sure you stop and have some fun. Especially with your pup.